What's up you guys? I'm returning a piece of equipment that I brought out to a job yesterday to punch some post holes and I just thought I'd give you a look at it and let you know what I think of it. It's a mini skid steer. The auger bit worked really well. It broke through some really, really hard ground fairly easily and uh, it was very precise, very easy to, you know, get your hole exactly where you wanted it. I call this one a Dingo 1000. Uh, this is the bigger of the options. It uh, is like riding a mechanical bull, and so it's so small that every time you just hit a bump or the weight shifts, it just you're just bouncing all over the place. Um, and it can't push or scoop really. Uh, you have very little protection from branches and stuff like that. What an absolute ripper. I'm not gonna talk a whole lot on this video. I was pretty short-handed so I didn't film that much, but I did get some pretty cool videos of how the auger works and I wanted to show that to you. Honestly, not super impressed with the uh, ability to like push dirt around and scoop stuff. 
I wouldn't use it again for that. It just doesn't have the it doesn't have the power or the bucket size to really be useful for that. But I was really impressed actually with the way that it punched the holes and, and the way the auger bit worked. Hey guys, it's important to know that an auger like this is not gonna do all of the work for you. The holes will not be the perfect depth and you're definitely gonna have to clean them out manually with a post hole digger. You should always also have a digging bar on hand for large rocks that the auger can't get through. And also a sawzall is a really nice tool for cutting through roots because uh, you can get a long blade and stick it right down into the dirt. Um, other than that, this will help a lot and I really like this auger. So. If you like this video, please subscribe, check out our next videos. We'll keep making them if you keep watching them.